Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Save the Planet here on Thrilling Thursday here in Connecticut. I gotta make this quick. I'm off to get my girl down to law school. She's coming home for a week. She's coming home. She's coming home. Tell the world. Uh, I love that girl so much. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Energy is everything, man. Energy is everything. What good does a trillion dollars do you if you're just miserable? If you have no energy to get off the couch, what good does it do to have a great job and a beautiful wife or a spouse? And, and you can't do anything. You're just exhausted all the time. You're sucking down coffees. You're sucking down Red Bulls and five-hour energies, Adderall, Modafinil, Ritalin, all this sort of stuff. <laughs> Squirrel. Guys. You can take that. Take that and keep it. Now, I don't make any bones about it. I, I'm financially secure here at this point in my life. I'm retired, got everything I need. There's no question about it. But what I need more than anything is I want the energy to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Now, what, 40 years ago? Oh, yeah, I want to have a 28-inch waist, and I want to have an 8-pack, and I want to be able to you know, run a sub-35 uh, sub 10K, and I want to do two marathons. And, uh, yeah, I went through all that. But guys, and that's fine. But that's fine. But guys, if you abhor, if you get up Saturday morning, usually your, your long run day, and you abhor getting out the, the door, and you have no energy, and you just drag yourself through it, and because you, you know, your posture is bad, your knees are thrown, guys, you take that. Take that. I want to be buzzing around like some manic. You know, that's what I want. Energy is everything. And guys, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you what to do with your energy. You take your energy and you put it into your family, you put it in your job, you put it into, you know, your spirituality, whatever you want to do. But guys, energy is king. Now, I don't care what you say. Can you lose a few pounds on paleo keto? I guess you can. I guess you can. It comes back and it's not worth it. But guys, every single one of them, no matter how ripped or buff they are, every single one of them is running on stims. They laugh about how much coffee they drink. You look at Mark Sisson. What I eat in a day. Oh, I'm but Well, he's all juiced up and, and steroid king and everything. And the first thing he does, he doesn't eat anything until, until dinner. He's one meal a day, about 1,200 calories. He's just running on coffee. Guys, you can have that. I don't like artificial uh, energy. I like the real deal. I like energy from carbs. Carved up, man. Fruits, veggies, corn, rice, peas, potatoes, and sugars, man. Me and Walter Kempner, I want energy. Energy, energy. And you don't have energy... If you can't go to bed at night and sleep like a baby. Guys, if you are all juiced up on all those stims, you are not replenishing. When you sleep or when you meditate is when you rejuvenate the body. And if you are not getting your deep sleep, guys, you're not rejuvenating the body. And yes, you can go for a while, but it just kills your adrenals. Guys, get off the coffee. Get off the tea. Caffeine is a drug. I can't believe, I can't believe that somehow they have, the powers that be, have convinced this entire society that coffee, which is an amphetamine, a neurotoxin, that's all right. But sugar, which is a nutrient, which is in mother's milk, oh, that's the devil. Uh, God bless them. God bless them. I just wish that I could get the society so brainwashed into thinking, into buying my book. God bless them. I admire their marketing. I think it's diabolical. I think many of them know exactly what they're doing, that they're ruining lives in more ways than one. But again, energy and natural energy. Fruit, veggies, 
corn rice, peas, potatoes, and sugar. Guys, don't be afraid of sugar. Go down to um, Whole Foods and get some gummy bears. Get some gumdrops, guys. No fat. Sugar and fat, I agree, together, it's a death sentence. You, if you're going to do this high-carb diet, you have to get off the fat. Sugar and fat is just diabetes waiting to happen. It might take years, but guys, don't do it. But these gummy bears and gumdrops that I'm talking about are absolutely delicious. And have them with you. Don't worry about calories. Knock them in. First of all, sugar is the number one appetite suppressant. If you're the least bit hungry, but, it's, but instead of drinking a coffee, eat your gumdrops. Eat your gumdrops. Guys, coffee is, is it's, an, it's an amphetamine. Sugar is not. Sugar is a nutrient. It is a vital part of every single one of the hundred of trillions of cells that are in your body. Coffee is not in those cells. It is the number one thing that feeds the brain. Coffee doesn't feed the brain. Guys, it is so screwed up and I feel so badly. I have people coming in this studio every day her life's, whose lives are in a shambles because, oh, I'm so weak, I, I, just, I just crave carbs all the time. Guys, of course you crave carbs. Your body needs it. Anyway, guys, I got to get going. I'm going to get this up. But guys, fruit, vegetables. I, uh, I've been up for a couple, several hours. I got my meditation in. It was a little shorter than I had hoped, but I got my meditation in because I got so much to do today. I just did 30 miles on a stationary bike, okay? Uh, drank a lot of water. I'm going to go drink some more. I have a couple mangoes, three mangoes up there that I'm going to knock off. I'm going to have some juice. I'm going to get on the road and so go see my girl. My girl, Teresa, you're my girl. It's my daughter. Anyway, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power and the world will be yours, Chico, and everything in it. Love you all.